Oh, stop. Let's try one. Oh my god! We three, well, two and... Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day And every night, no time to lose One day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday in our day, and our chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is powering the Tesla with more than one Chinese voltage modules, uh, voltage generator. So let's get it. By the way, all the Tesla vlogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Now, in my last vlog, I got hella freaking excited. I'm still excited because I found out that you can actually power a Tesla with this module. And what's more, then I also turned on the original power supply with this spark plug right here. By the way, if you want to know more about, you know, all of that, check out the first Tesla vlog. And it turned out that it's basically escalating everything. Check this out. One and two. The spark frequency just gets doubled or I don't even know. So in theory, more high voltage generators should be amazing. So let's hook them up. Let's remember this frequency and let's connect another one. Uh, almost out of space. Okay, let's try two. Let's try one. Oh my god, it's for sure a difference. Stop. Oh my god. Okay, two high voltage modules plus the original one. I'm referring to the spark plug from the car, of course. So we are now powering this Tesla with three, well, two and... Yo, stop! Oh my god, turns out that you can pretty much run this thing on overdrive. Or should I say, we're probably not even close to the limits of this contraption right here. This is so cool. Okay, let's try three. That was a weird sound. What the hell was that? What? What is this sound? Um, what have I done? Stop with the noises. Oh my goodness. Maybe there's a polarity mix up. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, currently there's only... Oh, stop. God damn it. Yes. And... Once again, we're now using three and it versus two. Is there a difference? So it has been proven. You can actually use them. I actually proved it in the last one. Lastly, I want to know. I actually want to know how much amps I'm using with these three. I sadly haven't done that in all these high voltage generator videos i never measured the amps so stupid of me let's change this right now this is the full bridge rectifier max output 10 amps i guess something like that oh great that is totally useful right there it's glitching out god damn it okay, let's just measure the amps of one of them just one please don't glitch out okay 1.3 amps. Wow. So my setup is clearly horrible. I just wanted to prove this point and I did. It works and you can actually put it in overdrive. I will eventually get to an extreme overdrive video. In the next one, I just plan on maybe hooking up three to this Tesla and going for more interesting visuals. Anyways, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I want to smash my stupid setup. It's freaking chaotic. Bang the bell like crap. To never miss Tesla vlogs, check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.